Konnichiwa, this is Justin Canavan, or Canavan in Japan, your Assemblies of God World Missionary to Scuba Japan, Japan's Science City. It's been a little bit since I've been able to give a video update, so this is your Spring 2022 Missions Update. In the midst of full-time language school, I've had the incredible opportunity to serve on staff at the Church Scuba International Christian Assembly. And over the last few months, we've had more people than ever before come to church. And we've had the biggest outreach events we've ever had in our history. From Christmas to Easter to Mother's Day, we've seen God move. So much so, we're probably going to have to add another Sunday service option soon. Even more, recently a Japanese man made a public declaration of faith to follow Jesus. People are excited and the Holy Spirit is moving in power. We're reaching new people online every week through live streams and outreach videos. And to increase our effectiveness in this, recently Speed the Light helped purchase a live streaming and editing laptop. Thank you so much, Speed the Light. Different Bible studies, including Chi Alpha, have been launched, and ministries to reach preschoolers and youth students have been launched as well. And in addition to our current missionary staff, we have three interns serving with us from the U.S. Further, we have two missionary units on itineration, Chelsea Puckett and Lauren and David Perdan, and our TED's Scuba Express Discipleship Station, our church planting training and resource center building renovation has made progress. I interviewed Pastor Chris Carter, my church planting team leader about it, and he's gonna tell you about it, check it out. First of all, thank you so much for your investment in the TEDS project. Without you, none of what we have done would have happened at all. I just want to take you through what our status is right now. You see behind me the two apartments there. Those are completely renovated. And this week we'll have three interns living in them for the next six months and praying about joining our church planting team. That's exactly how we're going to recruit 200 church planting missionaries for Japan. Also, there is an office floor. It's looking awesome and we're moved in and using it. We're so excited that we're able to use the front part of the TEDS building already. All we've got to do is assemble some furniture and you can see that we need to do the painting of the outside of the building, but the interns are going to help with that. The next thing we've got to do is renovate the building right below me, the warehouse. That's going to be our dorms for our short-term teams and also our kids ministry space for the church. But there's one more thing we want to do. We would love to get an observatory for the top of the building behind me. That would allow us to use our BGMC telescope a lot more often than we're able to right now. So if you're interested in helping us do that, we need about $30,000 more you can give on the website. Isn't that exciting? God is working. But let me be really clear. This is only the highlight reel. Through all the mountaintop experiences, there have been lots and lots of valleys. This is a spiritual battle, and spiritual battles are won through prayer. So will you pray with us? Pray with us for team members' health. Pray for the TEDS Building Warehouse details. Pray for wisdom for the next steps of growth for the church and the planning process for our first church plant. And pray for empowerment of the Holy Spirit and boldness for witness for our church and for our team. Also, will you keep praying with us for 20 churches to be planted here in Japan and for 200 missionaries to be called? There's so many more prayer requests, so please check out a more detailed list on my email newsletter. Thank you so much for praying, and thank you so much for giving. You can learn more about what God's doing here in Scuba and apply to be a missionary at canavaninjapan.com. Arigatou gozaimasu!